20 pranks to piss someone off. Number 20, the paper log. This prank is super funny when you see the people's reactions to a huge turd lying around. It's extremely easy to assemble and to execute. All you have to do is take a wet cardboard tube, like a toilet paper or towel roll, and rip it into multiple pieces. Layer the pieces in the palm of your hand and clench your fist a few times to compress the pieces together. Now lay your log in unusual places and get your phone out to record the reaction. Number 19, the blowhorn. The blowhorn has been a tool for many pranksters, one of the original pranks involving a chair. This prank is easy enough to set up and hilarious to watch. You simply attach the blowhorn with tape under the bottom of an office chair. It can be any chair that bounces when you take a seat. And when your mark sits, the blowhorn will go off and the person usually jumps and sometimes pisses themselves. It's all in the name of comedy. Number 18, showerhead candy. This one is sure to piss off your roommates, so make sure you don't get caught. Buy some hard candy at the store. Lifesavers seem to work the best and unscrew the showerhead in the bathroom. Drop one of the pieces of candy in the showerhead and screw it back in. The water will remain colorless, but will leave the person feeling sticky once they dry off. Each piece of candy lasts for three to five showers, making this an even better prank. Number 17, the soap that doesn't clean. Want to create a soap that doesn't ever lather? Coat it with clear nail polish. They'll never get a real wash again. Number 16, a colored grin. If you've ever wanted to scare the crap out of someone first thing in the morning, this prank was created for you. Take some food coloring. I would use blue for the best effect and squirt a few drops on the unfortunate soul's toothbrush and wait. As soon as they go to brush their teeth, they'll be taken aback by the flood of coloring that is appearing on their teeth. You'll probably get to see them looking at their toothpaste in suspicion. Number 15, the strawberry shake. This is a great fast food prank that will surely make the receiver gag. Obtain an empty soda cup, lid, and straw and get one of those little paper cups and fill it with ketchup. Place the ketchup in the bottom of the drink cup and stick the straw straight into the ketchup. Replace the lid and hand it to the person you're trying to prank. Be ready to run once they take a sip because it won't be pleasant. Number 14, cheese water. Nothing looks more like orange juice than the powdered cheese from the mac and cheese box. Just grab a pitcher, pour the powdered cheese in and mix with water. Once you put it in the fridge, no one will be the wiser. Number 13, a jolt of java in the afternoon. This is a great office prank that will piss people off if they catch on. Make the coffee in the morning, but make sure it's decaf. Make another pot in the afternoon, and this time, make espresso. You can do this prank for multiple weeks, and then switch it back. You'll be exhausted in the morning and wired in the evening. Number 12, the phone band prank. This one is funny. Just make sure to do it before your coworker comes into work. Take dozens of large rubber bands and wrap them around the entire phone system. If you layer the bands both left to right as well as up and down, they'll have a much harder time freeing their phones so they can get to work. Not only is it hilarious, but it sort of looks cool too. Number 11, taking up the bathroom. This prank is hilarious, but only works if you have stalls and are willing to crawl on the floor of a public bathroom. Grab a pair of old shoes and a pair of pants and arrange them in the toilet of the shared bathroom so they look like someone is sitting there on the toilet. Then lock the door and crawl under the stall and get out. Soon, it'll spread that there's been someone in the bathroom forever. Number 10, an incorrect spelling. If you can get a hold of a friend's phone and you know the password, you can do this fun prank that is sure to drive them bonkers. Unlock their phone and go into the phone's keyboard settings. Change words like R to our and there to the other there. This prank is subtle, but if they're aware of the English language, they'll catch on eventually. Number nine, the terrifying tile. If you can reach the ceiling tiles at your work, you should give this prank a try. Replace one of the tiles with a blown up realistic looking photo of the girl from the grudge or the ring. Have an ambulance on standby too, for when the photo causes someone to have a heart attack from fright. Number eight, the saran van. You can use this prank on any type of car. Just make sure you brought enough saran wrap to go around. This trick is easy, but it does take some time. It's easiest to use a piece of tape to initially hold the end of the saran wrap as you wind around the car. Keep wrapping the car until you have a cover about six to seven layers deep. Make sure you're close by when they reach their car so you have the best view as they try to tear off all that saran wrap. Number seven, the zip tie fanatic. Have you ever got tired of your significant other playing the same video game over and over again? Here's how to buy yourself some free time from that new release. Zip tie the crap out of it. Make sure the disc is in the case and use somewhere around 50 to 60 zip ties and zip them tight. The harder it is for them to cut it off, the more quality time you'll have. 
That's if they're speaking to you still. Number six, the new scent of deodorant. Use this prank to the extreme and only do it to a friend that plays sports and is about to go into a big game. It'll be classic. This prank consists of taking a friend or whoever's deodorant and replacing the scent bar with some cream cheese. Not only is it hilarious, but if your mark successfully uses it before a big game or match, they'll start smelling like B.O. and cheese, which is not a pleasant combination. Number five, the mayo donut. This is a perfect representation of two things that are great separate and just awful together. Want to seem like a nice friend? Buy some donuts, the kind without holes of course. Fill a Ziploc with mayonnaise and cut the tip off the bag. Then fill up each of those beauties with a tang of mayo and line them up in the donut box. Watch and wait. Soon you'll see your friend's face contort when they taste what they thought was a delicious cream filled donut. Number four, a different kind of green thumb. This prank is one you'll have to start ahead of time to begin seeing results. Once you've gotten a hold of someone's keyboard, carefully remove all of the keys and start stuffing pieces of wet tissue between each of the buttons. Next, you add small seeds and then reassemble the keyboard. After a few days, you should start to see little seedlings popping up and around the keys. Since the results can't be seen for a few days, you can keep it completely anonymous. Number three, the apple prank. A lot of people have heard this apple trick, but it still works because people are so gullible. The prank consists of taking onions, peeling off the skin, dipping them in caramel sauce, then sticking them with popsicle sticks so they look like candied apples. When a person takes a bite, they'll be overwhelmed with the disgusting taste of raw onion rather than the sweet caramel apple. Number two, the saran wrap toilet cover. Not only is this prank gross, it is simple enough to prepare. Grab a roll of saran wrap, attach the end of the wrap to the edge of the toilet, and pull it across to make sure it remains tight. You can add as many layers as you want, just make sure the toilet bowl is completely covered. Then the unsuspecting person goes in and does their business, and there's a complete mess all over the floor. Number one, something's fishy. This is one of the best office pranks I've seen in a long time. While a coworker is out to lunch or on vacation, empty the contents of one of their desk drawers. Then, after stopping by the pet shop, line the insides of their desk drawer with a leak-proof trash bag. Fill halfway with water, add some rocks and little plants, and a few live fish. When your coworker comes back, they'll either be happy with a new pet or displeased with a mess they now have to dispose of. Either way, it's funny. Better.